Just a quick one, guys, before we get into today's video, we do have a lot of Rangers t-shirts available on our website. Do browse the collection by going to either rfcclothing.com or going down into the link in the description. Let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Okay, two days away from the biggest clash of the season, a semi-final against Celtic at Hamden for a place in the Scottish Cup final. It doesn't get bigger than that, it is a huge opportunity for Rangers to finish this campaign, a disastrous campaign, may I add, with some silverware. There is added pressure, of course, because Michael Bill, despite a very impressive start to his tenure as Rangers manager, he has played three old firm games and hasn't won in any of them, two defeats and one draw. So it is a good time for him to get that monkey off his back, especially going into next season and end the campaign with some silverware. Also, I don't like to mention, I also said in a previous video, Celtic, if they win this one, they of course have already got the League Cup, they've done the league title pretty much, and there's a championship opposition in the final, and it's a good chance that they'll win the treble if they beat Rangers here in this one. So it's the last chance for Rangers to stop Celtic from doing a treble. Again, I said in a previous video, it is currently a sad existence. Um, that was the case again last season. However, it needs to be done again. We can't have Celtic overtaking our treble count and setting a world record. That just cannot happen. So Rangers, it must be, is a must win for various reasons. Michael Bill to get the monkey off his back, Rangers to most importantly end the campaign with some silver, and of course to stop our biggest rivals winning another treble. However, going into this game, there was some doubt with regards to a few players. However, Michael Bill has addressed the media and provided the club a big boost. He has confirmed that the trio, Ryan Kent, Connor Goldson and Scott Wright have all trained today and are likely to be available for the Scottish Cup semi-final clash. He did sort of state that we'll see how the players come through, but as I say, at the time of recording, it's very likely that they, or at least one of, or two of them, will start that match. The main one, of course, is what I want, is Connor Golden. Everybody can see from the last Old Firm game, with the amount of mistakes that Ben Davies made, and I think in the Champions League campaign as well, we are not a good side defensively without Connor Golden. So hopefully that's put loads of things of the, the debate last year that a lot of fans sort of said that we're a better team without Goldson. Not true. We are levels above with Goldson and he would be a massive, massive factor. He needs to play on Sunday if we have any chance of progressing to the final. And Michael Bill has provided some big news on him or positive news on him. Same with regards to Ryan Kent. I know that he doesn't really come up with the goals and assists and sometimes can go missing, but... He's our best option there. He is our best option in terms of a winger. We, again, we sin um, at the weekend again in terms of creativity and, you know, putting the ball into the back of the net. We need somebody like a Ryan Kent and he kind of does the whole assist before the assist sort of thing. So he never really registers the numbers, but we're a better team with Ryan Kent in the team also. So that is a big boost that they, though, though that trio did train today, especially, of course, Ryan Kent and Connor Goldson. Um, so hopefully... That puts us in good stead. Hopefully, I pray, pray, pray to the gods that Rangers have Connor Goldson in their ranks come Sunday at Hamden Park. Now, moving on to another sort of story of, of course, the Scottish Cup semi-final will take care of itself. We will talk about that um, later on. I am fairly confident for Rangers, believe it or not, now that now I've got the news of Connor Goldson. But also during uh, Michael Beale's press conference, he did quash a huge rumour that went around Scotland, went around the UK over this past week. And that's with regards to Chris Willock. Again, I'll hold my hands up. Of course, I reported the story, but I do report the story if I see it from reputable sources. I'm not saying these things are going to happen. I'm not making out I'm a Fabrizio Romano. I just see reputable sources take a story and I just like to share it with you guys. Uh, and basically, he has quashed the Chris Willock rumor and stated that he won't be joining the club. Chris Willock, of course, is a player who plays for QPR, is in the final years, year of his contract, is a 
left winger, uh, 25 years old, but that doesn't really matter right now, but did state um, there is no truth in that one and he will not be joining the football club this summer. However, he did state that he has been speaking to a lot of other players. So I think there is truth in Jack Buntland and Kieran Dow. As I said, those two have emerged from really, really reputable sources, but he has quashed the Chris Willick one. Um, on the other news, it's some more news regards to the transfer front as well. Again, I don't want to get too much brought into all of this, um, but the Morgan Whitaker rumor has re-emerged. Of course, Rangers went in for Morgan Whitaker back in January. However, Swansea basically said that they didn't want to sell the player. Um, and then basically, um, yeah, Michael Bill did come out and publicly and said he what he did. The Rangers did submit an offer. However, Swansea didn't want to sell. And apparently the deal is back on for the summer and Rangers are going to be going back in for him. Of course, Morgan Whitaker impressed down in League One with Plymouth on loan from Swansea. Scored X amount, a good goal to game ratio anyway. Uh, a left life-sided attacker and then was recalled and went back to Swansea however has kind of not really made an impact that he did at the start of the campaign with Plymouth now I have been scouring Twitter and I do listen to your guys' thoughts uh, down there in the comment section below and I see a lot of Rangers fans unhappy with the sort of players we've been linked with and I do get what everybody's saying. I do get what they mean. All these sort of like mid-table English championship players that it's no one really that's getting us excited. It really isn't. There's not really one player that I got excited for. However, the one thing I will say though is Todd Canwell. I know he had a high ceiling, but I actually said when we announced him, I wasn't like, is this signing getting me excited? I was like, no, not really. Just because he couldn't get into Norwich's team at the time and they were struggling down there in the championship. But one thing I will say, I think Michael Bill does have a good knowledge of players and uh, a good knack for the players that he wants to fit his system. Of course, we're not a Real Madrid. We don't have unlimited funds. Um, and of course, a lot of free transfers are the sort of transfer rumours you're going to be hearing at this time in the season. Uh, because players are sort of coming to the end of their contracts. So if we can negotiate pre-contracts, then great. We need more. We need more than, I think we need 10, 15 players this summer. We need loads of players. Um, so some of these players that are getting bought or are getting signed on pre-contracts, not necessarily going straight into our first team. They could be just improving the overall squad. We're, over the summer, I think we'll start to hear more of Rangers spending money, but I just think the nature of the time of year it is now, that's why we're hearing all these sort of frees and pre-contracts. I do think we will spend money as the summer transfer window sort of opens. But another thing I will say with regards to the championship players, we've spent loads of money recently and we've been getting excited about all these players that we've been signing. I can send loads. I remember doing loads of these videos and saying, oh, we signed this player, looks so excited, blah, blah, blah. Rabi Matondo being one of them. And they've been stinking out of the place. They've spent money on them. They've, 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 they've got us excited, but they've stunk out of the place. But the players that maybe have had low expectations have been the ones that really impressed. Who really went crazy when we signed Joe Reba? Who went crazy when we signed Calvin Bassey? Who went crazy when we signed Todd Cantwell? And these are the players that were impressing and starting to be mainstays within our team. So... I couldn't really care about the hype before anymore. As long as they come in and, and do the jersey proud, then I don't care if it's full of English Championship players. Bill will obviously um, be judged on his signing. So if it does go Pete Dong, he will get obviously the responsibility will fall on him. But so far, two signings have, have worked out really well. So I, I'm not going to believe like all this sort of hype crap. Oh, he's, he's, he's a wonder kid that plays in the Norwegian league and all the rest of it. English Championship's a very good league, by the way. English Championship teams would probably win the SPFL bar Rangers and Celtic if they weren't in there. So, well, some of them would probably compete for the title. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't get, I don't, I'm not going to get too bogged into it. But anyway, guys, that does bring us to the end of today's video. Uh, yeah, just, by the way, some merch, by the way. That's what it looks like in person. This is the Glasgow Rangers Pistols tee. Uh, it's really, really cool. I'm just showing you the quality. Um, that's been washed loads six, last six months once a week so it is really really good quality uh, but anyway guys that brings us to the end of today's video please do smash that like button let me know your thoughts and score predictions down there in the comment section below with regards to the semi-final will we beat celtic and get to the scottish cup final as i said let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below that brings us to the end of today's video please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. And remember, we do have Rangers t-shirts available on our website. So do browse the collection. Go down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you and I'll see you all next time. Take care.
Peace.